Hello and welcome to Shiny Crochet. This is part 8 of my giant plush series. See the card above for the trailer video which covers the normal introduction information, such as yarn, hook size and where to find the PDF pattern. As always, if you have any questions, drop a comment below with as much info as you can so I can help. This video will cover making the fingers, palm and thumbs, which will need the cream yarn. You will make 6 fingers, 3 for each hand. They are joined to make the palm too. The thumb will be made separately after the fingers and attached in the process of constructing the body to ensure we don't end up with two left hands. We will be working in the round with slip stitch and chain one between each row. Let's start on the fingers. Row one begins with a magic circle, then seven single crochet within. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row two is seven single crochet increases, one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve, thirteen and fourteen. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row 3 is 14 single crochet around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 11, 12, 13, 14. Slip stitch to end the row and chain 1 to begin the next. Rows 4 to 7 are the same as row 3. Tie off, sew in the starting tail. And cut a mid-length tail. This will be used shortly. Make a second one exactly the same. On the third one, you will not tie off. However, take a moment to sew in the starting tail. Using the tails on the first two fingers, sew the edges together as shown on screen. This will make the three fingers into a line.
there is now an oval shape around the outside which will become the palm. Continue with the strand still attached to the third finger. Complete a row of single crochet around, which will be roughly 30 stitches. Take note of your count on the first hand to match it on the second. That will count as row 8. Complete 10 additional rows of single crochet around, taking you to 19 rows, counting the 7 from the start of the finger. You may add a stitch marker to help keep the row count of the next few rows. On row 20, we will start decreases. On the narrow part of the oval, complete three single crochet decreases, keeping an even count of single crochet on the long sides. Slip stitch and chain 1 to finish the row, then do the same on row 21.
slip stitch to end the row and tie off. Cut a long tail. Take a moment to stuff the hand and fingers. Insert a small amount of stuffing to stuff each of the fingers before inserting a larger chunk for the palm. You want it enough that the hand will have some weight, but not so much that it becomes round. Sew the hole closed in a line. Make a second hand, it should be identical until the thumb is attached, or near enough to identical at least. The thumb is similar to the fingers. Using cream yarn and working in the round, row 1 begins with a magic circle, then 7 single crochet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Row two is seven single crochet increases. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, 9 and 10, 11 and 12, 13 and 14. Slip stitch to end the row and chain 1 to begin the next. Row 3 is 14 single crochet around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Thirteen, fourteen. Slip stitch to end the row and chain one to begin the next. Rows four to six are the same as row three. Tie off, sew in the starting tail, Cut a long tail. This will be used to attach the thumb to the palms later. Repeat this process for the second thumb.
And that's a wrap. This part is done. Be sure to share on social media. I'd love to see your makes. Tag at shiny crochet and use hashtag shiny giant cat so others can find it too. In two weeks, the next part will be available. The card above is a playlist for this series. I will add each video as they are released. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay in the loop. Have a lovely day.